What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. It has been an absolutely crazy market out there. One day we are up 10, 12, 15% and the next day we are down 10, 12 or 15%. But you already know what we do on this channel. We are not scared. We're not going to panic. And in fact, we are going to take advantage of this opportunity and buy the dip. So in today's video, I am going to be covering four stocks, two higher risk and two plays that I think are a little bit safer that I am buying on this dip and I tend to buy buy every single dip. And now with that said, before we get into the video here, let's talk about the overall stock market as a whole and look at some indexes. So this is the VIX and this is a volatility index. Essentially, when the VIX is down or heading in a downward direction, stocks should be going up and vice versa. When the VIX is going up, a stock should be going down. And now jumping over here to the US Treasury note, this is heading in the same direction. So as the 10 year goes down, stock should essentially be going up. But as you can see, that is just not how things are working right now. The VIX is down, the 10 year is down as well. But nevertheless, most of our stocks are down as well. So why is that? And that is because the market just does not care. People are scared. They think inflation is coming. They see interest rates rising. They won't listen to the Fed and Jerome Powell who is saying they're going to continue to float this market for the next couple of years and there is nothing to worry about. Instead, they're just pulling all their money out of the market because they are concerned. Now on this channel, we know that millionaires are made when the stock market is in the red because that's when you make your buys and then you ride the wave all the way up to when they turn green again. So that is exactly what we're going to do on this channel and I'm not going to be afraid of the market going down. I'm going to do the inverse and take advantage of that opportunity. So the first stock on the list and guys before we get started in today's video if you appreciate all the hard work that goes into making every single one of these videos every day all I ask is please make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you guys can get updated every time I post a video there's over 13,000 of you that have those notifications turned on and you guys know exactly how valuable that is and also guys a quick plug for Weeble here if you do not already have a Weeble account make sure to open up an account and all you have to do is deposit at $100 and you will get two stocks valued up to $1,800. Weeble also lets you trade from 4 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m. so it gives you a wider opportunity to get the best price on your favorite stocks. So definitely do not miss out on that opportunity and I will leave that linked in the description and linked in the first comment pinned below. Now getting into it, the first company that we're going to talk about today is FRX and this is Forest Road Acquisition Corp who is a SPAC that is merging with Beachbody. So here's the question, should you buy Beachbody before the merger actually completes or should you wait until after? So Beachbody is a California based company that provides digital fitness content and nutritional plans. Beachbody subscription service has attracted more than 2.6 million members. They also have a company called MyX Fitness, which is a fitness platform that provides at home workout equipment. It has sold more than 27,000 bikes over the past year. And if that doesn't scream Peloton competitor, then I don't know what does. And now the combined company is also expected to see a revenue compound annual growth rate of 30% from 2020 to 2025 due to an increased investment in customer acquisition, bundling of nutritional products, and international expansion. So let's move on here and take a look at all three of their businesses real quick and some projected revenue. So the first company they have is obviously Beachbody, then they also have My X Fitness and OpenFit. Now digital subscriptions here for Beachbody, we can see 2.6 million paid digital subscriptions, an 89% gross margin, and a 96% retention rate. Now this is projected to reach $450 million or more in revenue in 2021. And now moving on, they have MyX Fitness here, which is the direct competitor to Peloton. So as you can see, it cost about $29 per month for the subscription, and they have sold over 27,000 bikes already. This is also projected to generate $100 million or more in revenue in 2021. And moving on here to their nutritional products, we can see that they have 3.7 million digital subscriptions, which which is estimated to be $450 million in 2021 and 430,000 nutritional subscriptions and other sales, which is 560 million estimated revenue in 2021. So let's take a look at some growth opportunities here and investment opportunities if you're thinking about opening up a position in FRX. So looking at the financial overview here, we can see that 30% compound annual growth rate from 2020 all the way to 2025. 
In 2020, this should be their first year to generate over $1 billion in revenue. And if you remember, in one of my last videos, we did a price prediction on Beachbody using this 2021 projected revenue as well as the price to sales ratio from their close competitor, Peloton. We said if they can get to this $1 billion price target and they can hit Peloton's price to sales ratio, then this could be a $30 to $60 stock within the next year or two. So if you guys believe that and if you think this company has a big potential moving forward, then this could be a company to at least have on your watch list or even open up a position in. Moving on though, NEO, one of my favorite EV stocks and I do invest in this company on every single dip. I will tell you this company would be nice to get into the 30s, so maybe wait, be patient and see if you can secure your spot in the 30s. So let's talk about this real quick here, NEO and Tesla. So even with Tesla making a move into the EV market in China, NEO firmly believes that their company creates a far superior ownership experience. And the CEO says that that answer lies within NEO's dominance of brand awareness, making its EVs a household name among the Chinese market. So NEO's stock is setting up its vertical in China, reaching 44,000 vehicles delivered in 2020. And although that may seem small to you, it is not considering they're primarily focused on premium SUVs. Once we see that new sedan come out, we could see these sales dramatically increase because they're just going to open up to a broader market. Now they also have their famous battery as a service solution with over 55 percent of neo users having subscribed to that service neo also revealed its et7 sedan claiming a range of over 600 miles for the top spec model and this is a direct competitor to the tesla model s and like i said will broaden its customer base that neo is projecting to in another big point for neo here they are set on expansion overseas so neo already has its eyes set on expanding its reach into the european market later this year to to entice the European prospects, NEO plans to offer a custom tailored design of its EV that would suit the local market. And in tandem with its expansion plans, the company will be ramping up its production capacity to 150,000 cars per year by the end of 2021. So as you can see, NEO does have a lot of potential for them moving into 2021 and beyond. And considering they have dropped over 30% in just the last few weeks, this could be a good buying opportunity for NEO. Like I said, especially if you can pick this stock up in the $30 range. For me, this is a multi-year hold. I plan to keep buying every dip along the way, and I'm hopefully going to ride this one out to hundreds of dollars a share within the next few years. Obviously, that is down the road, and we have a long way to get there, but nevertheless, that is my expectation for NEO. So moving on here, we have one of my favorite autonomous driving penny stocks, and that is Foresight Autonomous Holdings. This is ticker symbol FRSX, and this company has also been beaten down a pretty bad lately down to about six dollars and 73 cents this is one of the first stocks that i talked about on this channel and we have actually been in since about two dollars a share and have been up as high as 550 percent now even with this recent pullback we are still up almost 300 percent on this play like i said if you want plays like this all you got to do is subscribe and hit those bell notifications to get the updates every single day so anyways though foresight autonomous has three businesses they have foresight automotive inet mobile and real vision for this video we are going to focus on inet mobile because this has a massive catalyst coming up so this is basically a quick overview of how inet mobile works so each of the installed mobile devices is aware of its location and constantly transmits to its inet servers the inet servers then send the location to other devices in the vicinity to each device effectively making devices aware of the road users around it and so then when anything alarming comes up inet mobile will send an immediate visual and audio alerts to all users around and involved, essentially preventing the crash. So iNet Mobile did have a trial with a top global vehicle manufacturer like we discussed and a huge catalyst for this company was a successful trial. This stock did benefit from that, went up quite a lot, but all those gains have been stripped from them considering the recent market pullback. And you can see it was very successful. The iNet project system demonstrated a 95.54% success rate in all tested scenarios. All users were alerted on time approximately 2.4 seconds before reaching the intersection. 
the INET project system proved its robustness and reliability by operating 100% of the time with zero crashes or errors during the entire trial day. So very important there, a very successful trial for this company. And now what we are looking for coming up is who is this top global vehicle manufacturer and specifically we're going to be looking for a deal when one or both of these things are released that could be a huge catalyst for foresight and this stock could retrace all-time highs or even higher going above 10 to 15 dollars a share and lastly here sensionics holdings ticker symbol s-e-n-s one of the craziest stocks as far as up and down movements but also one of the favorite stocks on the channel now this stock has also been beaten down pretty bad from four dollars and thirty cents all the way down 28% to $3.08. This could be a buying opportunity, especially if the stock drops into the twos, and obviously if you believe in the company in the long term. So this article says, Sensionix, a potential multi-bagger from here. Sensionix shares have suddenly plunged on no news from recent highs, giving investors a good opportunity to buy in on one of the most compelling growth stocks in the market. The company aims to disrupt the continuous glucose market in partnership with Ascension Diabetes Care, which is one of the top diabetes companies in the world. Sensionix has the makings of a potential multi-bagger from here, and aggressive investors would be advised to initiate a position at the current levels. Now, obviously, don't listen to this or me. You always need to do your own research first, but let's give you some few highlights and catalysts of what we can see coming up for Sensionix. And the biggest thing is their product pipeline. So looking forward here in 2021, we are looking for this 180 day sensor to be approved by the FDA. Right now we have a 90 day sensor, but once this 180 day sensor gets approved, that is going to be a massive catalyst and could lead to huge gains and higher sales for this company. Then moving further in 2023, we also have the 365 day sensor to look forward to, as well as the freedom sensor in 2024. We will get into those later down the road if the 180 day system gets approved. And so here is the opportunity ahead of Sensionix. With FDA approval for the Eversense XL expected by the end of the third quarter, Sensionix will start to eat at the market share of the companies in the industry, but the real game changer is going to come with the Eversense 365. This will open up the type 2 market to this new type of CGM device. Here the opportunity is really huge and they face no competition and none is expected anytime soon. And obviously, we can see some global net revenue projections here from 2021 all the way to 2025, and we can see massive increases every single year. So definitely something to look forward to, especially if you think that 180 day sensor will get approved because leading up to it and even soon after once they can get that product on the market, that could be a big catalyst and a big gains could be coming for this company. Now, so this is the most risky play on the table because if they don't get that FDA approval, they're heading straight down the drain. But nevertheless, it is still a play that you guys love and could be a buying opportunity. With that said though guys, that is all I have for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about these four companies in the comments below. Let me know what companies I missed and what companies you are buying on this dip. If you enjoyed the video, do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Fearless.